Today we're getting up close and personal with the dead. So we're in Sagada, the Philippines. Sagada is pretty much the reason why I came up here to this very northern part of the Philippines. Why would I come to Sagada? What's in Sagada? It's the land of hanging coffins. We took a jeepney from Banawe. This impressive hunk of metal is a jeepney. You'll find these all over the Philippines. Jeepneys are United States military jeeps left over from World War II. And since then, they've been altered in every way. Painted, engine swapped. They're crowded, but they've got style. Sagada is a charming little town with a strong culture. Because of the lack of transportation and difficulty to get here, few conquistadors stepped foot here during the Spanish era, and so Sagada is one of the few places in the Philippines that preserved its indigenous culture. It's most famous for its hanging coffins, and that's exactly what I'm here for. I brought this guide with me to explain a few things. Show them how it's done. One, two, three. Woo! So these coffins are nailed or hung up on the sides of the cliffs. They've been burying people this way for 2,000 years. Because of the influence of Christianity, this burial practice has largely stopped, but it does still go on today. There's many reasons why they hang the coffins up like this. A practical reason is to keep their bodies safe from rotting. They're also safe from dogs and other animals that might dig up and eat the corpse. At the beginning of this burial tradition, people were buried in the fetal position because they believed that you should leave the world in the same way that you came into it. This practice has largely stopped because you have to break the bones of the body in order to put them in this position. As you can see, there's a longer one and a smaller one. The smaller one is that one has been we put in our chair because we're going to uh, uh, like in a fetal position like that, so that they can be uh, fitted on the coffin. Then, but this one is the long, longer one. Is That one is the influence of Christianity, so that one is the... We're not going to put it in a fetal position, we're going to put it on long. They don't want to break the bones already. Another reason this tradition isn't used so much today is because it involves a large ceremony. Pigs and chickens are butchered for the celebration. The whole village has to be involved. During the celebration, the corpse is wrapped up like a basketball, and the people pass the body around. And they actually hope for some of the bodily fluids to drip down and flow onto them. When the fluid of the dead person flows into your body, all the blessings received by the uh, dead person pass on to you. So it's, it seems that that fluid flows into your body, it's, it's a good luck like that. So it seems we are going to grab the dead body on the another person so that the, the, the fluid of the dead person flows in onto us.
there's some coffins way up. So this is the old style of coffin. No, it's good, say it. Wow. So that kid, <laughs> that kid just came up to me. He said, what am I doing? And then I said, nothing. He said, give me money. He asked me for money a couple times. I said, hey, no money. And he said, fuck you. <laughs> he said it about five times. And then <laughs> I tried to get him to do it for the camera and he wouldn't until I turned around. What'd you say? <laughs> okay. Bye. What was that? Why you have money? Yes. Why do you want my money? What if I want your money? Now can you say it one more time? 